Hello, welcome to Digit Math. Today we're going to learn about adding two digit numbers. Are you ready? We'll go through 10 questions together, so let's test your skills. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Let's go! 73 plus 49 is time to think. 3. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 3 plus 9. Adding 3 and 9 equals 12. Therefore, 2 is written in the units column, and 1 is carried over to the tens column. In the tens column, we have 7 plus 4 plus the carried over 1. Adding 7, 4, and 1 equals 12. So the final result is 73 plus 49 equals to 122. 85 plus 17 is? Time to think. 85. Let's go to the answer. To solve, add 85 and 17. In the units column, add 5 and 7, which equals 12. Place 2 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, add 8 and 1, which equals 9, which equals carried over 1 to 9 to 9, making 10. So, the final result is 85 plus 17 equals 102. 66 plus 67 is time to think. 65. Let's go to the answer. To solve this, add the two numbers together. In the units column, 6 plus 7 equals 13. Place 3 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. Now, in the tens column, add 6, 6 from 66, 6 and 67, plus the carried over 1. The sum is 13. Place 13 in the hundreds and tens column. So the final result is 66 plus 67 equals 133. 36 plus 39 is time to think. 5. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 6 plus 9. Adding 6 and 9 results in 15. We place the 5 in the units column and carry over the 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, we have 3 plus 3 plus the 1 we carried over, summing up to 7. So the final result is 36 plus 39 equals 75. 43 plus 17 is time to think. 5. Let's calculate the sum. Adding the units column, we have 3 plus 7, which equals 10. We write 0 and carry over 1 to the tens column. Adding the tens column, we have 4 plus 1 plus 1 from the carryover, which equals 6. So, the final result is 43 plus 17 equals 60. 75 plus 18 is time to think. 5. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, add 5 to 8, which equals 13. Place 3 in the units place and carry over 1 to the tens column. Uh, in the tens column, add 1, carried over to 7, and then to 1, making 9. So the final result is 75 plus 18 equals 93. 95 plus 27 is time to think. 
Let's go to the answer. In the units column, add 5 plus 7, which equals 12. Place 2 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, add 9 plus 2, which equals 11. Add the carried over 1 from the units column, making 12. Place 12 in the tens and hundreds column. So the final result is, is 95 plus 27 equals to 122. 55 plus 69 is, time to think. Let's go to the answer to solve the addition. In the units column, add 5 from 55 and 9 from 69, which sums up to 14. Write down 4 and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, add 5 from 55 and 6 from 16, which equals 11. Add the carried over 1, making the total 12. So the final result is 55 plus 69 equals 124. 44 plus 73 is Time to think. Let's proceed to the answer. In the units column, we add 4 and 3, which sum up to 7. In the tens column, we add 4 and 7, which sum up to 11. Thus, the final result is 44 plus 73 equals 117. Seventy five plus fifty six is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, add five and six. This equals eleven. Place one in the units column and carry over one to the tens column. In the tens column, add um, 7, 5, and carried over 1. This totals 13. Place 13 in the hundreds and tens column. So the final result is 75 plus 56 equals to 131. Great job! You've just completed 10 questions on adding two-digit numbers. Keep practicing and you'll become a math pro in no time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digit Math for more fun math lessons. See you in the next video.